Hello traders and welcome to another video. This one's going to be on Coinalyze. What we're going to be covering in today's video is the buy sell volume percentage, something I've never talked about, but is actually a pretty good way of diagnosing whether the price is going to go up or to go down. Let's go into it. Hello traders, in today's video through Coinalyze, we're going to be looking at two of my favorite volume metrics, buy volume percent and buy count percent for each candle. First, I want to show you guys how to actually get this indicator. You click indicators. You're going to type in uh, buy sell volume percentage or buy sell count percentage. You can get both. And then when you go to when you go to it, you're going to want the input as a percentage, and you're going to want the style. I just put it as just buy count only because you know that's just what I do. <clears throat> and again, it, it's a percent, so the these would just be a mirror, right? And then this would just be the delta of the uh, percent wouldn't be that helpful. So that's how you actually get to it. Now, what this is showing me is this is showing me of each traded candle. So here we have 2.789 million algo traded. I get that number from here, right? We have 2.789 mil um, algo. Now, 65% of, of the volume of that 2.7 mil is market sells. I know that because it says it here. It says that 35% are market buys, 65% are market sells. So this to me, you know, looks quite bearish and price does go down another, uh, what, like, price goes down another 1%, so it was bearish. And then right below this, guys, this is volume, this is the count. So this is showing of all market orders, what quantity, not of the volume, but of the market orders. What quantity of market orders are, are market buys and what quantity of market sells? So imagine that we had 1,000 individual market orders, right? Well. This is saying 64% are market sells. So if we had 1,000, that would mean that 640 of that 1,000 were market sells and 350, uh, 360 were market buys, if that makes sense. So again, this is saying of all of the market orders, how many of them are, are percent market buy? This is saying of all the volume traded of the contracts, um, what percent of them are market buy? When this gets very, very, very low, um, that tells me that nearly everyone is selling. So this says here, 94% of the market orders coming through were market sells. This is telling me here, although 94% of the, of the market orders coming through were market sell orders, 52% 50, uh, of the volume traded were, were market buys. And you can see price fell. But now I have this right here, and I want you guys, I know that this is a really new indicator, and using these two in conjunction is not always easy, but diagnose whether the price is in the next few candles going to go lower or higher. And I will reveal it soon. So this doesn't really indicate that price is going to go any higher. Typically, a sign that price goes higher is one of two things. One, you see just a surge in traded in actual traded volume like this. Two, you see a large amount of buy percent volume, so this green would be a lot higher. And three, the buy count would be a little bit higher too. The other way that typically the market can reverse is, is called an oversaturation of sellers, i.e. oversold. When something's oversold, that means that when this is like, let's say only 10% uh, of the volume here is market buys, so 90% is market sells, and then the count is like 95% um, market sell orders. That's just too much selling, and then price tends to reverse. I say too much selling because not every market order that can come through has to be correct. You know, we need losers in this game. Um, and that's kind of like something that I, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm talking about with that. But the answer is price goes down. Price went down because, look, 65% uh, are, 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 uh, of the volume is market sells, and 57% uh, uh, of the actual count is uh, selling, not buying. So price goes down here. However, we're starting to see some bullishness really coming in. This is a decent amount of volume. This is 779,000 algo traded, and it is 75% of the volume of that 779K algo traded are market buys. And the count, 61.57% of, of the market orders are market buys. So this is beginning to show me that this is actually some bullish pressure coming in. And I wouldn't be shocked to see the price go up a little bit more especially because we're not really trading on much bearish volume here, and this doesn't really look super strong. So I think, yeah, price is gonna rise, that makes sense. And I can see here, 73% is market buys, 
and half of the of the market orders are, are buys, this is going to go up. And it does go up. We are getting a ton of market buying here. Okay, and price goes up a little bit more. Now we're just consulting, and I'm assuming we do we go up a bit here. Oh, that's the current candle. So here on the current candle, what do we see? Well, I can see that only 20% of the actual orders coming through are market buy orders. I'm seeing that there. But um, I know this is going to look wonky because the candle just began, guys, on the five minute. But let's look at this guy again. But 58% are market buys. So this, to me, does look more bullish than bearish. I don't, I don't know what you guys make of this. But this setup, to me, definitely, I think, seems more easy to go up than down. But I want to show you guys something that I mentioned, alluded to before about losers. When this candle went up, look how funny these numbers are. You'd expect that with a candle that just went up 7.3%, it'd be all buy volume. Not the case. The volume was 7.387 million. And although a lot of stop losses were being hit, a lot of people were being liquidated, some people were FOMOing, only 57% of the traded volume was buying. Only 57%. That's not that much with a candle that bullish. A lot of people are trying to market sell. Furthermore, in the buy sell uh, count percentage right there, the majority of the market orders coming through were market sells. They were not market buys. So what that tells me when this number is larger than this, that the, that the larger traders are market buying and the smaller traders are trying to market sell. And that's validated right there. I can see that the majority of people who are clicking that market order button were market selling. But the majority of the volume was market buy volume, and it wasn't even anything like crazy, like, uh, you know, 79%. So price just kept going up, and, P and those smaller guys continued to pick the market sell button more than the market buy. Look here. Now, 60% of the market orders coming through are market sells, although the price went up 2%. Price just keeps going up. The buy sell count percent keeps showing that these sellers just keep hitting that sell button, although the dominant volume is still market buys. When are these guys ever going to learn, you know? And then finally, we can see that they relent. They're like, okay, finally. Now we see that 51% of the market orders that came through here were market buys. Um, and we can see that the uh, percentage of the volume goes up a little bit. So that's where the market begins to reverse because I think that the retail began to catch on to this a little bit, which led to consolidation. And you can see that's consolidation here like that. But I love looking at the buy sell count uh, percentage. I know that some of these orders are going to be like 0 0.01, you know, uh, of algo, and other orders are going to be like 2,500 algo, but that's the reason why we use these two in tandem. This is showing me how many people are hitting that market sell versus market buy button, and this is showing me who's the dominant volume. Like here, 75% of the volume here is market buy. Price goes up. And I can also see that the majority of, uh, of market orders are, are also market buy. But I love to see when these two diverge a lot because that shows me that retail is betting the wrong way and hitting the wrong market button. They should be market buying when they're market selling. Like when this number gets very, when the buy sell count percent gets either really, really high or really, really low when there's heavy volume being traded, that tells me so much. Like it, it really does tell me just so much about the retail um, mindset. For example, here, 60% of uh, market orders were market sells, meaning that the majority of this market, or at least people who are pushing that market sell button, were probably thinking the market was going to fall. This is the very local bottom, where price actually wicks up 3.5%. Price wicks up 3.5% after most people choose to sell, and also the dominant volume was selling here. So this is kind of a strange scenario, but then on this crazy volume wick that you know double hits everyone, I can see that slightly 52% uh, of orders were market buys, 51% were, were uh, of, uh, of the orders were market sells, but 52% of the volume was market buys, and so on. Let me see if I can spot any more divergences on heavy volume, of course. I want to see one where the, yeah, this. Oh, this one's awesome. Look at this. 76% of the volume traded is market sells. Right, so of the 1.5 million, uh, 1.5 million algo that were transacted here, 76% of that volume is market sells, right? But of actual orders, only 
57% of the orders are market sells. You know, this tells me that there are actually a fair amount of traders who are trying to market buy here, and that didn't go too well. So, all right, so I'm gonna show you guys how do I get here, and let's go look at some more um, assets. Let's go to individual charts, and let's say that I want to look at, um, let's do Doge. Oops, no, I already have you as an, I already have you as a bookmark. Doge, let's go Doge on uh, Binance, okay? I'm gonna click full chart. And I already have it saved, you don't probably, but uh, here it is. So this is Doge, so let's go look at some patterns with um, Doge, especially, I love to look at the buy count and the um, buy volume percent when there's a volume spike, because that's when a lot of market participants are participating. These numbers don't matter that much when it's like this volume traded. That doesn't really matter, I mean like, there's just no volume, right? There's like no volume being traded there. But I wanna see like on crazy, crazy, crazy volume spikes, what are people doing? Like here. We get, I mean, what happened here? What do you mean 90, apparently in that one candle, there wasn't, there was only 2.673 million Doge transactions in five minutes, but apparently on that candle, 99% of the volume traded was market sales. That's insane. Um, even though 99% of the volume traded was market sales, somehow 21% of the count uh, of the market orders themselves were market, market buys. So this tells me that probably there's some retail traders who are trying to market buy here. That didn't go well. Mm -hmm. How about on this final push to this market bottom here? What's going on? Tell me. Uh, we see a very low count, not surprisingly. I mean, this the, uh, the share of market orders are mostly market sales around here. And the volume becomes a little bit more dominant right here. This would actually be a great buy signal. Uh, we get a reversal, and then we see 61% of a decent amount of volume is market buys. This is beginning to get a little bit more bullish. And if you want to be very conservative with this, I think an even stronger one is maybe even here. A bit of a weak sell-off that has no volume. Then you see a volume spike with 20 um, million, with 20 million Doge being... Um, 20 million Doge being uh, transacted, and 88% of, of the volume is market buys. But of the share of market orders, only 64% is actual um, market buys. 36% of other market orders were market sells. So typically when this number is greater than this, that tells me that more retail is selling uh, tiny amounts and that the bigger guys are buying greater amounts. But when this number is lower than this, when the count is bigger than the buy volume percent, that tells me the opposite. That pot that potentially retail is overbuying, whereas bigger traders might be uh, selling. So this here, where this is bigger than this, is telling me that this is moderately bullish. Price probably just kept going up here. And it did. We can see that had you bought at that, you know, price goes up 1.43%. And then we see this count getting really, really low. Jeez. But one thing you can do if you're trying to scalp using this method is you can wait until there's a very large um, move against you with a large amount of buy, sell, volume, percent against you. So let's say that we went long here. What I'm looking to get out at is something like this. 81% of the transacted orders here are market sells. Uh, no, no, 81% of the volume are market sells and 65% of the individual orders are market sells. So this is bigger than this which is already bearish for me. Also, just so many people are market selling. This is ugh, not great, you know, and this would have been a good trade, but this is not looking like beautiful and price goes down more. So even if we go to the present volume, oops, if we go to the present, I can probably even make a deduction of where price is going to go. As long as Doge is like liquid enough, it's still trading. Um, it looks like 99%, what? Is this like no, on no volume? Oh, it's on 307,000 Doge, it's nothing. But this says that 99% of, of orders have been market buys, and 78% of the individual count of orders are market buys. So this is pretty bullish to me, but the issue is this is no volume. I mean, I just don't see any volume, right? How about here? Oh, that's interesting. This is actually pretty bearish. This would not have been a good buy sign. Look the majority of the share of volume traded here was actually market sells, whereas the count was weighted toward market buys. Sold here, maybe, that's eh, not great. 
This is just not a great buy signal at all. This, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the kind of two indicators that you're gonna need to pair with other indicators because I don't think that this is good enough by itself, I'd say. But I, I need to end this video soon, but I will look at one last guy. All right, it's you. You have been chosen. Let's look at the full chart of ADA because this is very, very liquid and let's see what's going on. So it looks like we have a decently healthy uptrend. Now, let's see this one hour. Okay. Don't be fooled by this, guys. The hour just began. That's why it looks like there's it's insane, you know? But I still want to look at, okay, what is going on here? So many people are, are bearish here. 70% of the individual market orders during this one hour of trading are market sells. But 43% but of the volume here was market buys. This, to me, is bullish. And price went up. Yep, makes sense. People just got way too bearish here. I mean, on count. People got way too bearish here as well. And let's see. Price had to convince them that they should be bullish when they actually should stay bearish. Uh, here, let's see if I find any other. Yeah, the one hour is interesting. How about the one day? Or is this kind of... Okay, yeah, this is just really... Not really telling me as much. Hmm. Yeah, this is bullish right around here. But eh, not the strongest signal, but yeah, like most people, most market orders here were, were market sells. So let's say you bought here, you take the drawdown. Yeah, but that would not have been an easy trade to take. How about the four hour? Are you gonna give me anything good the four hour? Uh, not really. I think that this kind of uh, trading works really well in the five minute and the 15 minute. And if you wanna get crazy, you can go in the one minute. However, do know that the one minute's gonna be kind of all over the place especially with something that's not as traded, you know, like like uh, Cardano ADA. Um, it's liquid, but it's not like crazy liquid. But even on the one minute, if you want to scalp, th there are some decent signals. Like here, what we see is how the market shifts from literally everyone's market selling here, right? And then that completely changes. Everyone's market selling here, and we can see that the, um, the buy-sell volume percent is just all market sell. And then that changes right around these wicks right here, where then we see like 76% in that one minute of trading was market buy. And on this volume spike, it's a 50-50, right? So this is kind of showing everyone's bearish, everyone's bearish, everyone's bearish. Oh, now we're really, really bullish. And then price goes up. So the one minute actually might have some cool things to show you. But again, none of this is financial advice, all at your own risk. Um, and I would recommend this with Binance Futures, but you can use this on anything that you would like. With that, happy trading, and I'll see you in the next one.